In a previous video, we considered the centroid. In that example, we found for this green shaded region, the centroid is at 0, 0,14 over 5. In this video, we want to expand on that example and apply a theorem of Pappus. Here's what the theorem of Pappus says. Theorem of Pappus requires a region R. Let's take region R to be this duck. Second, we need a line not intersecting R. The theorem provides a formula for computing the volume of the region R rotated about the line L. The theorem is D times A provides the volume. What are these quantities D and A? The quantity D is the distance the centroid travels about the line. The centroid will trace out a circle. The formula for circumference is 2 pi r. That's what d is. The quantity a is the area of the region r. Nice. Plugging that in, we can write volume v by the theorem of Pappus is 2 pi r a. Recalling that R is the distance of the centroid to the axis of rotation. Nice. Let's apply this to our previous problem. From the previous video, here's where we were. Coordinates of the centroid. Let's set up our new problem. Here's our new problem. Find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region bounded by the parabola y equals 4 minus x squared and the horizontal line y equals 2. Revolve that region about the x-axis. Good. We're going to apply a theorem of Pappus, given that we know the coordinates of the centroid. Since we want to revolve about the x-axis, we look at the y-coordinate of the centroid and let that provide the radius to the axis of rotation. In other words, little r is y-bar, 14 over 5. From our previous video, we computed the area of the enclosed region as 8 over 3 rad 2. Now, to finish our problem, it's simply plugging in the value for r and the value for a. We can clean that up and simplify to get uh, 224 over 15, multiplying rad 2 and pi. And that's it. We've computed volume thanks to the Theorem of Pappus. Nice job. And thanks for watching.